Football League brings us to Cleveland Brown Stadium on the shirts the 30 up to the 33. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. The play fake now young. A throw left side reeled in by the rookie wideout. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 25 yards there on the catch and run. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 42-yard line. Off the play fake, Young sliding out of the pocket. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll set up to throw. There goes a deep ball in zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. A great effort there. 42 yards. And the Panthers march right down the field in three plays. He's one of the fastest receivers in the NFL, and he showcased it on that play. And when you have a guy like that. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. It's caught inside the 10. And he gets it. A solid return to the 45. Well, you gave up the first touchdown of the game, but how about the response? Big time return. Now it's their chance to try and put points on the board. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at the 45. He'll throw from the gun. That's complete. It's Elijah Moore. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Moore, the man in motion. A first carry now for Nick Chubb. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. It's another first down on what will be a gain of 21 yards. Well, no slow start here. A couple of nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they've got the defense set. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant and it's intercepted. Xavier Woods with a pick. And the Panthers are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far, and they just threw something away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, that play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points were given away and could cost them a ball game? This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. They have to be thrilled with that first drive that got him the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice in meetings talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Looking to throw. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. The sack coming from big Dalvin Tomlinson. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He sets to fire deep. And this throw will be intercepted. 
Picked off by Martin Emerson. And the Browns will take over here just shy of the 30. Well, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it. And the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Got an open man. That's David Njoku, the tight end. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Watson. In trouble, and he's taken down. Amari Barno came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. Right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out. Now a timeout called for by the defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. It looks like, yes, it is six defensive backs on the field for Carolina. They're going with a dime set. Now Watson. Eluding the pressure right. The ball comes out. Yeah, that paint not at all, right? How fortunate is he that they got a chance to punt it away, and it's not just a turnover at the spot. Now this is fielded in the end zone. Now Raheem Blackshear going to take this one out. And he'll be tackled inside his own 15. The decision to bring it out cost him some yardage. 13 yards on the return there after a punt of 57. And the Panthers will have a first and 10 from deep in their own territory. Miles Sanders first carry of the game. And he'll lose yardage and be down at the seven yard line. Miles Garrett showing that athleticism as he gets in to make the play. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Here comes Sanders on the toss right. And this Browns defense coming to life. They get him behind the line for a second straight play. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Young to throw it. That'll be caught by his tight end, Ian Thomas. Oh, what a move. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. How about this? Racing to the end zone. And did he get in? No, down at the one-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Sanders is in. Touchdown, Carolina. Well, that was a quick drive. The passing game set it up, and then the running game finishes it off. And how about how few plays it was on? The Cleveland offense ready to go. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too Oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there forcing a loss on that play. Oh, the ball comes out the hit but they'll say it's incomplete and that was so close to being a heck of a play but when there's a free lane to the quarterback it's always a risk him taking a hit if the screen doesn't set up in time for him to complete the throw an incomplete pass on that last play and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down that one into the hands of Thielen complete 
And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Young to throw on fourth. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. And the Panthers turned away on fourth down. And this Browns defense stands tall. The Browns drive about to get started. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. I think they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. And he's got a man on the crossing route. That's Moore. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. They give the chub out of the gun. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. From the 42-yard line, here's second and three. Watson now to throw. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 24-yard line. Big yardage there for the Browns, 18. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now it's Watson. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and that'll bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. To throw is Watson. Touchdown, Browns! Jerry Judy. From 17 yards. Yard pass there to the 21. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. And we'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply, if you can get out of bounds after making a play downfield, terrific. If you can't, everyone hustle to the line of scrimmage, either run another play or clock it and start over again. And the running lanes non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Here comes third down at seven. Young. It's caught by Sanders. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. Now Young on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Browns are going to get this thing back. Excellent field position. Here's Watson. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. Here's Watson. Being chased out, and he will not make it back to the line. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. Hopkins' kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, so that's going to move the ball all the way up to the 40-yard line. 
The Cleveland offense ready to go. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. And this drive was almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. Back to throw, Watson. And the throw there going to be incomplete. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And it will be the Panthers' ball, first and 10. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Young off the play fake. Finding Sanders on the crossing route. And some room to run now. He may go. Touchdown, Carolina. A big play there. 79 yards. And the Panthers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Near the landing zone, so this will be blown dead. And they'll move it up to the 40. The Browns drive about to get started. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. From the 17, Watson. They set up the screen to Chubb. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. Good reactions there, defense game. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. From the gun, here's Watson. This ball nearly intercepted. Oh, once in a season chance for the big fella, but he couldn't corral it. Fourth down, straight ahead. They will indeed snap it to Watson. And Joku pulls this one in. He's got it for a Cleveland touchdown. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Right back to Sanders on first down. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second down at seven. Another run here with Sanders. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Up the middle they go with Sanders. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13.
They'll try to throw now. Young. That is caught by Thielen. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 30. 19 yards that time for number 19. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So first and 10 now from the 30. The young keeps it moving right. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. That is now 19 yard gains on back to back plays. All right, I don't want to get too poetic here where they talk about, you know, the eyes being the windows of the soul. You know what else the eyes do? They see the open spaces on a field, and those eyes carry your legs to those spots. And that's what happened on that play. He saw an opening and went and got it. Well, he really hasn't ran the ball all game. Fourth quarter here, need a big play, able to pick it up. So whatever the eyes saw and created, it worked. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra... And he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Panthers are able to build on to their fourth quarter. Move the ball all the way up to the 40-yard line. The Cleveland offense ready to go. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Well, the connection they've had has been excellent today, but not on that snap. I think he was asking just a little too much as he extended that play, hoping for one more completion with him. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. And his defense here going to burn their second timeout. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two-minute warning. Here it is. Fourth and inches. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. A shotgun snap for Watson. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. And the Panthers are going to take over at their own 11-yard line. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. Panther football as we welcome you back. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. 
Not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. Two yards still to go, third down now. From the shotgun, it's Young. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. A big play there for Carolina. 46 yards. They made that way too easy for them. No one is supposed to be that open against an NFL defense. Once he caught the ball, there wasn't anybody close enough to stop him. And he was able to continue downfield after making the catch. And Young's going to throw it here. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Martin Emerson. And the Browns are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. Well, in all likelihood, this ball game's still over. I mean, even with the interception, two-score game, they need a miracle. Curious decision to even throw the ball in that situation, but maybe they saw a stacked line of scrimmage and said, hey, it's better to try and throw than to try and run against it. In any event, I think you're exactly right. Now, the other team can pad their stats, but I don't think they're going to win. Yeah, but still, don't change the channel just yet. Now Watson. They're able to find Judy. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. At this stage, this drive's got to be touched down or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them. And, get... and this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by J.C. Horn. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. So a fourth quarter pick six here, and that one might put this game zone. So this will be blown dead, and they'll move it up to the 40. Browns drive about to get started. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace where the other offense are going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. And Chubb going to push forward and pick up a Browns first down as the tackle made at the 42. One last throw here for Watson. And that is going to officially draw the curtain on this one. Now he's hit on the return. It's a loose football. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And, Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Cleveland.